Welcome back in to look at some more covers from the Saturday Evening Post featuring images of baseball, baseball players. And let's see, where were we? Kind of got caught daydreaming here, just like this young student. Who wants to study geography when you can be daydreaming about hitting that game-winning shot, getting carried off by your teammates, and maybe even getting the girl? Here we see the local team, all nine players on their way, discussing strategy. The ball boy down in front, listening to the battery mates, leading the charge. Everyone's got their own bat, ball, and glove. Here's a classic cover of the old hidden ball trick. Just let your eyes gaze upon both players. The runner is totally oblivious. And you think to the fielder, just wait for it, just wait. There's no mention on this cover or inside of a World Series preview between the Yankees and Pittsburgh Pirates. The issue went to stand earlier than the date printed, October 1st. Notice the banner at the bottom with silhouettes of pitcher, hitter, catcher, and umpire. And in the color photo, everyone's scrambling on top of the pole to get a better glimpse before there were apartments across from Wrigley Field. Here the umpire says safe, and the fans within the background collage seem to disapprove. The unsettled dust reminds me of the 1976 Johnny Bench card. Dad has a wide stance, just like Gramps from 1905. The catcher doesn't seem to be in position just yet, or maybe he's just readying for a lob. I love the socks. This wildcat might just have the pop-up. Again, notice his tattered clothes and beat-up glove and the handkerchief on his wrist. Use your imagination to fill in the base lines and field in this picture. Could this be the same team from the 1917 cover? Notice the use of the entire cover to show the outfielders running and trying to catch the ball. But as the title suggests, it's going to be a home run. Here the umpire seems to be a classmate, but there are no friends within a nine inning contest, and he seems pretty steadfast on his decision. You've probably noticed that artists love to use the color red in baseball uniforms. The sky and cloud background accentuate the batter's follow through. Looks like a young Frankie Frisch. There was no World Series preview in this issue between the Yankees and Cubs, who played between September 28th and October 2nd. Could the young boy be a pitcher and imagining he's throwing to the big league player whose muted larger-than-life image shadows over him? Look out, Warren Spahn. Our new right-hander has pretty good form, but he better watch the runners already on the move in the background. It's been five years since the last baseball cover, and here we celebrate the 100th anniversary of baseball. The picture takes creative license to put the umpire directly behind the pitcher. The image served as a throwback source for Sports Illustrated in 1977, when they showcased two of our favorite birds back then. It's a sucky job, but the baseball gear in the foreground is incentive enough to finish early. And beating these rugs might just help with his swing. Now it's Sis's turn to take an at bat. This is more of a painting from a photo, and rare that blue was used as the background color instead of pure white. As mentioned earlier, these periodicals were dated ahead of time for newsstands, so this issue came out weeks after Pearl Harbor. Prior issues did have articles about the attack. The aerial view of the baseball game is blocked somewhat by the light bank in the foreground, 
but the light beams are the star of this picture, allowing your eyes to follow in linear fashion.